By all accounts, I shouldn't be alive because I'm the oldest of three boys. And my parents definitely made a lot of mistakes when I was a baby. So here's some of those stories. The first story begins literally the day I came back from the hospital when I was born. I was born in Pomona, California. And um, when I was released from the hospital to go home, um, you know, my, my parents brought me back to the house or to the apartment. And my father thought it would be great if I could get some sun in me because I was in my mom's stomach for nine months, I guess. So he strips me naked and takes me um, outside into the lawn and then just kind of sits me naked in, under the California sun while he like sits under a tree. Um, so I'm just chilling there as a baby. My father, you know, it's been a long day. You know, he was watching my mom give birth. So he fell asleep and, and was like taking a nap. So my mom, um, I don't know how long this nap took, but uh, eventually my mom um, started yelling from inside the house that she needed help with something. So my dad, he got up, he woke up, and he went straight to like uh, go help my mom inside. And wh whatever it was, my dad helped her with whatever it was, and then he was like, hey, I could take another nap. So he took another nap while he left me outside. My mom, after a while, like woke up my dad and was like, hey, where's Jonathan? Where's the baby? And my dad was like, oh, I left him outside. So they run outside. I'm still there, butt naked under the California sun, and I'm just burnt, you know? I'm just sunburnt, and, and I'm sure my parents were freaking out. Obviously, I'm still alive but I'm definitely maybe a shade or two darker than probably I should have been. The next story is uh, my mom was making uh, a meal for me. So what she decided to make was a hard boiled egg. Now, what she did was she cooked some hard boiled eggs. I was sitting at my baby chair right by the table and my mom, she leaves the hard boiled egg just on my plate. She cracked the shell, but it was the whole intact hard boiled egg. So she just leaves it to me and walks away. Me, I like eggs. I think they're excellent. So I grab it and I just swallow it. And because I'm a baby, I have a small throat and it gets lodged in my throat. So I start like choking. I start suffocating. My mom notices that I'm not making much noise in the kitchen. So she decides to check on me and she sees I'm like turning blue. I'm like suffocating. And she like freaks out, runs to me, you know, puts her hand inside my mouth, takes out the egg, and once again, I'm alive. Hopefully it didn't cause any permanent brain damage. I don't think so. You'll have to ask my exes to be sure though. The last story I'm gonna tell you is pretty great. So my parents, they were grocery shopping, you know, and they took me with them and they were like carrying me. And at this time, my mom was carrying me like kind of on her shoulder, right? So they're on the checkout lane to finally pay for their groceries. But uh, my mom, you know, she's trying to like hold me while also trying to pay. So she called out to my dad and said, hey, can you take the baby? And my dad said, yeah, I could take the baby. So my mom was like, okay, great. So she like pushes me off over her shoulder but the issue is my dad wasn't paying attention. She wasn't paying attention that he was going to grab me from over her shoulder. So the next thing you know is I fall and I hit the grocery store floor and I just start crying. And my dad's like, what, what's going on? And she see, he sees that I'm on the floor. My mom, she gets mad at my dad for not paying attention. My dad's like, no, she get, he gets mad for her assuming things. And I'm just on the floor crying while people are shocked in horror, of course. Once again, I think I'm fine. I guess babies are pretty bouncy. So I bounced back multiple times from death. And honestly, I don't know. I can only thank God that I am like a completely healthy person, honestly. Well, I hope you enjoyed those stories and tell me and comment if you have any stories like that. I feel like all parents have stories of like mistakes they made. Well, thanks for watching this video and we'll talk to you later. Stay safe out there, guys.